electric. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News. Luis Romero greeting you. As always, we extend our gratitude for making us part of your day and for keeping us as Martinsville's news leader. This is the only daily newscast in Martinsville and Henry County. Again, we say uh, that with a lot of pride because we work very hard to bring you a daily newscast. We're going to start off with that update uh, that I mentioned to you that will be coming from Virginia State Police in regards to the fatal crash where... We know that this was a uh, vehicle versus two motorcycles. Again, this occurred all in Franklin County. It claimed the life of one person. And we have now learned that update includes the identity of the driver that had, was arrested in connection to that because he fled the scene, as I mentioned to you on uh, Tuesday's edition of our newscast, as well as the identity of the victim. So that press release says that I uh, just want to share, reiterate some of the information that the crash occurred around 7.49 p.m. on Six Mile Post Road near Pepper Road. Again, in the Franklin County area, according to state police, a 2001 Chevrolet Suburban was going west. This is a change. The, yesterday, the pr press release read east. Now, it, we're being told it was west on Six Mile Post Road when that vehicle lost control, ran off the right side of the road, and overcorrected crossing the center line. State police said in that report that the Chevrolet hit two motorcycles, a 2009 Yamaha and a 2001 Kawasaki, which were going east. The driver of the Chevrolet was Ronald Wayne Patterson, Jr., 27, of Hurt. State police said that Patterson fled the scene on foot after the crash and was taken into custody a short time later. The Yamaha was driven by James Benjamin Trail, 27, of Firm. Trail was wearing his helmet and died at the scene, police said. The Kawasaki was driven by Brandon James Carson, 19, also of Farum. Carson was also wearing his helmet and was transported to a local hospital for injuries received in the crash. Patterson was charged with felony hit and run, and of course, this crash investigation is ongoing. Moving now to news in the city of Martins, and we're going to give you a little bit of recap of some of the things that were newsworthy, uh, or one of the biggest newsworthy uh, parts of the Martins City Council meeting that was held on Tuesday evening. Of course, uh, BTW 21 News was there to cover the entire uh, meeting, but we can tell you that six residents have uh, put their names in to be considered to uh, fill some of the school board vacancies, and if we are correct, that is three. So again, six people uh, placed their names in, in, in the hat. They came up to the city council meeting and uh, told, either voiced their name uh, in front of the city council. There were two that were uh, sent in to uh, two of the council members, and we had one resident that gave the name for another, and that was uh, uh, well known as Mr. Tully Hairston. He put in the name for Tony Jones. We also had Stephanie Morris Mills, Nakia Blackwell, Emily Parker, Cody Williams, and Heather Blankenbaker. And again, those are the names of the individuals that want to be considered to be on the Martinsville City School Board. Moving along now to talk about Fahey, and before we talk about some of the celebration events, or at least one of them that we know about, want to remind you that uh, June 10th will be taking place next Monday. The celebration that we're talking about will take place on Saturday. But on Monday, you should expect uh, government bu bu buildings to be closed and should not expect the mail to be running. Martinsville City and Henry County government offices, of course, include it, are included in that, and they will be closed. So you definitely want to write that down on your calendar so you don't make a run 
to the bank and uh, find out that they are closed because that is recognized as a federal holiday. And speaking again about June 10th, there's a celebration that will be going on by the uh, Fed Area Historical Initiative, and they will host that celebration of the June 10th, and uh, in, they're entitling it Looking Back and Reaching Forward, and that will take place again, as I mentioned to you, on Saturday. The community event will be held at Baldwin, Plo Baldwin Block from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is free to everyone. And I quote, it is vital to acknowledge and educate our community on the significance of June 10th, not just in black history, but American history. This June 10th celebration creates a platform with the potential to cultivate a better understanding of black history and culture, which fosters better relationships between groups with different backgrounds, said Deshanta Harrison. She's the Fahey Executive Director. Performances will be given by multiple groups, including the Spiritual Seven, their Turn It Up Band, the Souls of Beauty Dancers, and the MHC Elite Prancer Nets, with a GJ playing family-friendly music between sets. King Kids Rentals will provide a bounce house and obstacle course, and Busy Bounce will provide free snow cones and cotton candy. Food will be available for purchase from multiple uh, vendors, including Tammy's Grill and Hilton's Wood Fired Grill. Various retailers will also be on site. And again, you want to make sure that uh, you jot that down on your calendar if you would like to attend and celebrate June 10th. And uh, lastly, as we talk about celebrations, we're going to talk about one that occurred on this Wednesday afternoon and occurred in the city of Martinsville. And we're talking about Flag Day because today is Flag Day across the United States that you can see my uh, pin there. Just wanted to note that very quickly. But this event was sponsored by the Patrick Henry National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution in conjunction with Martinsville Uptown and Women Life, their Martinsville location. Again, this was a flag ceremony that was held there in Uptown Martinsville, the Martinsville Municipal Building in front of it to be exact. Took place this Wednesday and the start time was 1 p.m. You can uh, watch the entire program on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash btw21. Or our YouTube channel will be on there momentarily, as well as it will be playing for the next week here on your neighborhood network, so you can catch it throughout. But uh, that's going to do it for this portion of BTW21 News. There's more to come after these messages. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276 634-0010. Call us to get your time slot book. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. Excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability and long-term disability and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia 24148 during our normal business hours Monday through Friday 8 a.m. To 5 p.m. Two is always better than one. And here at Autos by Nelson, we definitely agree. That's why we double your warranty on all new vehicles. Get double the years and double the miles of coverage. And we'll be sure to give you double the customer service while you're here. 
How may we help you? You guys really take this double your warranty thing seriously. Double up at Autos by Nelson. Stop by any of our locations today or visit us online. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Happy Hump Day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in into your BTW21 News Forecast. I'm your local weather woman, Shania Dalton. Before I get started, I'd like to inform everybody to be prepared for some more smoke coming in from Canada. Unfortunately, it might be the summer of smoke because of the wildfires up north. We're not as bad as New York and all the other states up north, but if you have any respiratory issues, please be prepared for that. Moving on into this evening's forecast. 5 p.m. mostly cloudy, 79 degrees. 8 p.m. we're going to continue the mostly cloudy pattern at 74. And then partly cloudy at 11 p.m. with the sunset at 8.39 p.m. All right, tonight's forecast is going to be mostly partly cloudy, actually, with some rain possibilities, but it's very low with those west-northwest winds at 6 miles per hour. 59 for Boone's Mill. 58 for Rocky Mount, 58 for Pham, 57 for Oak Level, 58 for Woolwine, 58 for Martinsville Ridgeway at 57, and Stewart at 58, and Ararat at 58 as well. As you see, we're a little bit warmer than we were on last night. Moving on to Thursday's forecast, unfortunately, those mild temperatures with a few clouds here and there is changing, and we're going to have some clouds on tomorrow with some afternoon thunderstorms at 40% chance with those west winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 83, Rocky Mount at 83, Fairmont at 83, Woolwine at 80, Oak Level at 83, and Martinsville as well at 83, Ridgeway at 84, Stewart at 82, and air rat at 81. Although we are in those 80s, it is going to be nice overall tomorrow until we hit those thunderstorms. My rating tomorrow is going to be a 6 out of 10. As I said, it's going to be 83 with the low at 58. Partly cloudy with those afternoon thunderstorms. So wherever you go on tomorrow, make sure you carry an umbrella with you. And that rain chance is at 40%. So be prepared for that. And sunrise is going to be at 6 a.m. All right, looking ahead at this Father's Day weekend, it's going to be nice outside most of the time. As you see, we do going to develop some more storms on Sunday night, moving on to Monday. But Saturday is going to be 84 degrees, low chance of rain, abundant sunshine. And then Saturday night, 56 clear skies and then moving along to Sunday is going to be 85 and then later on throughout Sunday night that's when those storms are starting to develop until next week it's going to look pretty wet on next week but I'll get more into that on tomorrow and keep an eye on that for you all it's going to be gen generally sunny with a few clouds here and there mostly throughout the weekend with some light winds and we have those high UV indexes, so please, especially if you're cooking out with dad, definitely wear some sunscreen, wear your shades, get in the shade if you can, and make sure you protect you and your family's skin as you are all out there. So it's going to be a beautiful weekend, minus those thunderstorms coming in on Sunday night, moving into Monday. So that is it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Be, don't forget your umbrella on tomorrow. Stay safe. And until next time, stay tuned for more VTW 21 News after this.
Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Martinsville and Danville. Ra 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 ra. Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan the Man. I'm talking about tax season, aka car buying season. And PVT Inc. down there in Field Hill got 50 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars, they got small cars, they even got medium sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Field Hill to view inventory. 50 11 more cars are coming in daily. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Hi, my name is Dr. Caper Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care so come on down to Zip My Chiropractic, where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. It is now time in our lineup for your crime report by Apex Bail Bonds. James Marine, 41, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Riley Robinson, 42, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Roberto Tellis, 28, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Ashley Belcher, 34, Martinsville, Virginia, charged with contempt of court, failure to appear, and commitment pending pronouncement of sentence. Clinton Blankenship, 29, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with robbery residence. 
Jimmy Jones, 43, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with robbery, business with use of gun or simulated gun, and petty larceny. Joshua Justice, 34, of Stewart, Virginia, charged with petty larceny, robbery, residence, and simple assault. Do you know the warning signs of a stroke? Learn how to recognize them. Face drooping or twisting, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. Become a stroke hero by learning fast to help save lives and spread awareness. Welcome to Bahamas Snow Shack. What can we get for you? Bahama Snow Shack is Henry County's shaved ice vendor. With hundreds of flavor combinations to choose from, there is something sure to satisfy your taste. Located at 3161 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville and open daily from noon to 9. Stop by and find your flavor. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-638. 8771. We thank you and welcome you back for staying with us. Uh, this is again the uh, only daily newscast at Martinsville and Henry County. And in that lineup includes your obituary report of Bassett Funeral Service. Douglas Delane Hunley, 88 of Fieldale, passed away Monday, June 12, 2023. The funeral service will be held at 1 p.m. Saturday, June the 17th at Pleasant Grove Christian Church. Visitation will be prior to the service from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Norris Funeral Service in Martinsville is serving the Hunley family. Philip Wayne Vaughn, 51 of Bassett, passed away Thursday, June the 8th, 2023. The memorial service was held Tuesday, June the 13th at 11.30 a.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. The visitation was held 30 minutes prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Mabel Atheline Bowling Barber, 93 of Martinsville, passed away Sunday, June the 11th, 2023. Visitation will be held from 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, June the 14th at Norris Funeral Services. Graveside service will be at 11 a.m. Thursday, June the 15th at Mount Ivy Christian Church Cemetery. Judy Ann Painter, 72 of Martinsville, passed away Monday, June the 12th, 2023. A memorial service will be held at a later date. Norris Funeral Service in Martinsville is serving the family. Online condolences, NorrisFuneral.com. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett 
and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet and in as 2007 went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniels Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing. 276-632-2580. My name is Pat Sharp. I'm an attorney with the local law firm of Gardner, Barrow & Sharp here in Martinsville. Our firm has been a part of our local Martinsville Henry County community for well over 40 years. Our firm handles everything from minor traffic charges, real estate, wills and estates, complex commercial litigation, to complicated personal injury and wrongful death cases. If you think you can use our legal services, give us a call. Or better yet, ask one of our former clients about the quality of our service. We stand on our reputation. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. So we have come once again to the end of our daily newscast. As we always tell you, I know that I sound like a broken record every day. Make sure that you head on over to btw21.com. Follow us on our social media pages so that you can stay updated uh, with the news that is happening in, in, in your community. Also want to remind you, we haven't done that in a while, that the uh, contest for the $100 gas gift card is still going on. We will award someone that $100 gas gift card uh, once we reach, reach 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and that's youtube.com slash at symbol btw21 or you can just simply search btw21 in the search bar and subscribe to our channel and again uh, we are very close to awarding that so you definitely want to make sure that you're subscribed publicly subscribed so we know that you are in fact subscribed and you could uh, be entered for a chance to win that $100 gift card but uh, that's enough of me talking we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>
Tickets can be purchased at BTW21 at 934 North Memorial Boulevard. So get your ticket today for a chance to win this bike.